How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Miata video. Today we're yet again going to be working on Nick's car. As you saw in the first episode, the timing belt is really fucked. It's got a big gash out of it, so we're going to be doing... I'm honestly hoping that it's just like completely fucked at this point, so I'm like, I got all the use out of it. We're going to be doing the timing belt, the water pump, all the seals. Uh, we are doing a new radiator. We got this uh, Shiny. eBay dual core radiator. Yeah. A lot of you guys are commenting that the, the old radiator is turning brown, it's about to crack, and yes, you are right. It's really, really crappy. Uh, it leaks a lot, it smokes. My car vapes when I drive, yeah. pretty much. After the car warms up and the headlights are up, there's just smoke pouring out of the headlights area, and it's all burning coolant, so um, hopefully that will all be fixed with the new radiator. It'd be cool in October if it were Halloween, but it's not. I'm bondoing the trunk, too, so. Yeah, next bondoing the myself. trunk. Myself, we'll see how that goes. Um, a lot of you guys said our bondo jobs weren't very good. Hey, there were we, some positive comments there, weren't they? Uh, they are mostly negative, but we never <laughs> said we were good. I mean, yeah, nobody, it's better than what it was. That's all we can say. Nobody claimed it's either that or spend like $1,000 to get it welded. Yeah, and the point is, is that we spent 300 bucks on buying this car, technically, just technically. Yeah. We're not gonna spend like a couple thousand on body work at yeah. a shop. This is do-it-yourself videos, okay? <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the tying belt kit. We gotta jack the car up, get the coolant out of there, which hopefully there isn't much left because it leaks a lot. Yeah, otherwise. That'll be nice because then we don't have to dispense of it. Yeah, then your neighbors won't be as mad. Pour it out in the lake behind the house. Don't do that. <laughs> mm. Finally picked myself up an electric impact gun. So. Why are you yelling? Oh gosh. Barely. <laughs> huh, that's unfortunate. And barely didn't take off wheels. I was debating between this small one and a bigger one, and uh, let's just say the small one isn't as powerful as I thought it was. This is 116 foot pounds. The big one was 300 foot pounds. Maybe I should have gone with the big one. Oh well. Or maybe your wheels are just rusty. Holy shit. That much we knew. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was difficult. And the coolant already is falling down. <laughs> Yeah, this radiator is so shot. It's disgusting. All right, so the uh, top radiator hose and bottom radiator hose are off. The uh, coolant is drained. You're a hose, dude. <laughs> hose there. Uh, so we just gotta disconnect the fans and then there's one bolt here, one bolt there, and the radiator should pull off. Although, actually, there are bolts down holding it to the AC, so I gotta do that as well. But, um, yeah. The bolts actually came loose without freaking snapping in half, so that's good. We're off to a good start. <laughs> hey, go see Star Wars Rogue One, guys. They're our sponsorship. I can't legally say that. Are you going to They're not our sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, wow, fam. Oh, damn, that thing looks rusty as this fuck. A, there's so much room for activities. <laughs> hey, 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 did you touch my drum set? What? Did you put your nuts on my drum set? Hey, sure. I you Oh, there we go. Them. That one went that, that one way. Went there. They actually fit? No. Did the holes line up? So the new radiator is put together. We got the fans on. Now it is time to embark on the journey of the timing belt. Take those off, get the accessory belts off. It's just uh it's gonna be a time consuming process, but hopefully we can do it. I get a time timing belt. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> we also got another blue Miata here, and he is donating his wheels to the cause. Oh. So, shout out to Andrew here. <laughs> Come on, 
We got both of the accessory belts off. It's time to dig a little deeper. For the final gates to open. Our Bondo putty nails. Oh. <laughs> the camera died, but uh, we got the engine up to top dead center and locked there. Hopefully locked. Hopefully locked. We are now ready to take off that big bolt down there, which may be a pain in the ass. Oh my God, <laughs> it's on fire. Holy shit, where's the, where, where's the fire suit? Oh, okay, uh -huh, stop breathing. Um, That's So yeah, oh, did you actually say that? <laughs> Sorry about scaring. <laughs> oh, it has definitely moved. Yep, oh, yeah. there we go, all right. We got it. First. Got it! Yay! Now we're actually gonna take the timing belt off. To do that, we have to uh, loosen the tensioner. That by oh, 14 mil and a spring, which is right back there. You can't really tell. Can you tell? And off. Sand it down a little bit. Oh my gosh! Look at right there too. Oh, oh that's so bad. Oh no, that's the, that's the one spot. That should not be like that. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> hey! Oh, that one is easy. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ha! Water pump, no more! I'm taking this off because we've got an O ring to replace it. I don't need to take it off, but I might as well replace the O ring while I'm here. Right there. This helps you realize how tiny the motor is. It just goes from there to there. It's like. Barely a fist size wide. Tiny ass little thing. All right, putting the new water pump on. All right, so probably about an hour later, we finally got the crankshaft seal out of there. That was the biggest pain in the ass. This was the uh, result of the uh, old seal, us trying to get it off. It uh, didn't didn't go so well. That's all I can say. So the camera died again, but we got the timing belt on, and now the next job is to actually time the engine. I think we got lucky, and it's perfectly timed. As you can see, our crank is right above top dead center. Or the mark on the exhaust cam is in the right place. Mark on the intake cam is in the right place, and there are 19 teeth in between the two, which is exactly what it's supposed to be. I'm just gonna make sure it's all good, and then we can put the car back together. The engine is indeed timed correctly, so now we're just going to tension it and put it all back together. So the valve cover is on, new spark plugs are in, uh, everything's all good. We're gonna put the radiator on, gonna put the intake tube, and then we are going to try to start it. Hopefully it starts up, because if it doesn't, we have to take all that off, and that would really suck, but um, let's do it. The 
the car is totally put together. Um, there's no coolant in it right now, but we'll do that. Uh, I want to start it, make sure it's all good. Kind of a key mix. And Now that is where things got interesting. As you all probably heard, when we first started the car, it did not sound healthy. It sounded like it was cammed, and it, it just it wasn't good. After it was running for a little bit, the revs went up, and it sounded fine. Um, but I don't know what's going on. I'm 90, I'm 90 percent sure it is all timed right because first cylinder was at top dead center, the exhaust cam lined up, and the intake cam lined up, and there were 19 teeth in between the two notches, which is exactly how it's supposed to be. So I'm fairly certain the, the, the timing was right, but it doesn't sound like it was, and it's been having some issues. Maybe it's the wrong spark plugs, I don't really know. Um, we are going to take it apart this weekend and try to figure it all out, um, but it is stressful because, I mean, there's so much stuff you have to take off just to get to the timing belt, just, just to rotate it one tooth, if that's what it is. Um, but it, it might just be spark plugs. I don't. I don't really know. I realize this video wasn't the most entertaining. I mean, it's ti it's a timing belt. It's just maintenance stuff. The radiator is cool, um, and that did not leak, so that's good. The coolant is no longer leaking, so we did fix that issue. We've got a front lip, side skirts, wheels, coilovers, all coming for the car, so that will be pretty awesome. As always, make sure to check out Throttle. That's where we get all our parts. It's an online marketplace that you guys can use to get some parts for cheap. I'll have a link to it in the description below. Uh, but besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.